Hello viewers, welcome to another one in the series of overclocking videos or the how to how I overclock my videos, how I overclock my GPUs and today we'll be doing the 1660 Ti and see what is the best we can get out of this one that is on our miner that is on the second the second one on the list is GPU 1 the GPU 0 is the first one so that's a 1660 Ti and currently at stock standard configuration it's doing 24.88 mega hash so let's see if we can change that or increase that a bit and what the base levels is so to start it off with we're going to move the memory clock all the way down to minus 502 and see what that does yeah. just need to increase the fan first we put the fan at 80 and we apply that and the memory clock at minus 502 see how that changes so moving the memory clock all the way down to minus 502 actually gave us almost an additional mega hash on the 1660 ti let's see what happens if we put it in the middle at minus 250 see what that gets us right and then we give it a couple of seconds to populate so with the memory clock at minus 250 currently lower than the starting point that we were at at zero so if you want to go into the negatives you have to go more to the minus 502 let's see what happens in the positive side if you move the memory clock to around about 250 and see what happens over there see if it increases from the zero side or if it also still goes down so with the memory clock at the positive 250 level we're currently on the 26 mega hash level with a card so let's see if it goes up further if we push it a bit more i'm going to move this to let's try 750 and see what happens so with the memory clock at 750 currently the speed of the card is around about 28 and a half mega hash so let's push it a bit further and see if it goes up even more let's try 1000 here and see what happens so with the memory clock at the 1000 level we're currently pushing 29.66 mega hash so let's see if we push it up a bit further see what 1200 does still runs shuts down let's see what happens now it looks like 1200 is a bit too high for this card it dropped down to 28 let's try 1100 and see what that one does maybe it goes a different way so with a memory clock at 1100 we broke through the 30 mega hash barrier with the 1660 ti let's adjust the other dials and see what happens with them let's, let's drop the core clock down to whatever for minus 502 and then we see what happens so with the core clock at minus 502 we're still relatively in the same range 30.22 mega hash let's move it up a bit and see if that also increases the mega hashes so it looks like moving the core clock to minus 300 slightly lowered it so 30 mega hash on the dot see what happens if we make it positive make it positive 200 and see what happens now well, you saw there the making it positive 200 would make it give a slight hiccup just about crashed i think i might have recovered it quickly enough so we're not going to go to the positive 200 on this card with those settings let's just wait for it to stabilize and then we continue so we moved it back down to minus 502 on the core clock 
let's adjust the power limit and see what happens here let's first move it to 75 see what happens with the mega ashes so at 75 it's still relatively stable almost at the 30 mega ash mark let's just move it all the way down and see what happens sometimes that helps So with the power limit as low as it can go on this specific MSI afterburner, which is 58, your core clock at minus 5 occlude 2, and your memory clock at plus 1100, the 1660 Ti gives you 30.44 mega ashes at 42 degrees Celsius and 74 watts. Let's just put it back onto auto, buy it. And then we'll leave that one run there. I'm happy with those figures. So give the video, give video a thumbs up down below. Remember to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Cheers.